<coughs> hey Sam, uh, Sunday afternoon, or Sunday morning, out and about with uh, me on one, uh, doing the Vamai tracks, fantastic. Loads of dev devastation up here from the storms. Have yeah, a look, normally, all this, this was tree lined up here, but the damage up here, so I've been coming up here for 30 years, and that is, all it's, everything's uprooted the lot. Absolutely mad. Shows it can be dangerous up here when it's, uh, you've got these storm daras and all this kind of stuff. But anyway, going back to the bike, here's me on one, 29er, running a, I had a problem with my fork in the front uh, a, couple, a week ago. I was like, oh, what's going on? I need servicing, but I'm running a true tune insert, a carbon, carbon insert, and they're fantastic. The only problem with this fork, it's a, a RockShox 35, and I said it'd fit it, but the adapter to go to the top doesn't fit. So the, the threads were all wrong. I think it's an M27. This is the, the true tune, tune was M22. So I 3D printed a, um, a part and that's working again now, but it had dropped off the other part I'd made without a thread and it was inside the shock. So it was limiting the uh, the travel. It's 160 mil travel on the front, but coming on to the Tongsheng TZ8, I'm now running the firmware update and uh, wow, massive difference. Uh, you've got four modes, so like low to turbo. And then everyone says, you know, low and the mid, you can't really feel the torque, can't feel it doing any, any assistance. And a 750 motor with this kind of torque says it's up to up to 160 newton meters. Um, just wasn't good enough. So anyway, I'm running this firmware upgrade now. It's gone all spot on. Uh, 60, 60, 69 quid for the kit from Poland. Uh, E-bike spares, I think you'll have to double check. But yes, made a big difference. Uh, on the turbo mode, proper torque difference. Not so much cadence, but torque. You can feel it just come up a really steep climb again and um, firing me up there. So, you know, legally on the road, no, these aren't legal. Uh, if you're running the throttle and doing 40 mile an hour, you're gonna get pulled and you're gonna have your bike taken off you. So I don't condone that at all. Uh, Off-road, again, not, you know, don't wanna put people at risk doing 40, 30, 40 mile an hour, ever around these tracks, you're just, we're all just gonna cause trouble ourselves. But for torque, just for climbing and enjoying the the, the, the torque side of it, th these are fantastic motors. Now I've been running the TZ2, uh, the smaller brother of this for, for about four years. And so far I've had about four months out of this and I've not had to touch it where the other motor bearings would have gone. Um, it was overheating. Um, don't get me wrong, for 230 quid, fantastic, but this is 240 quid. And Tong Sheng, you knocked it out of the park here because this motor is absolutely superb. Uh, in the previous video, sorting out a front chain ring, a proper one, because no one seems to do them. And if they do do them, they want a massive amount of money for them because of that unique. Um, but these need to run either a 30 or a 34. I'm running a 34. I think we could get away with a 32. Uh, a 32 on there. That's a 34 with my metal bodge. You cut up the original Bafang front ring for the uh, Spider, then welded in another ring, metal ring I had, brand new. So far, it's running absolutely superb, and the, the chain lines are bad. But my next prototype, which I can get it right, I think I can get it right over now. So that chain line on the back would be near perfect. But that's running on a, a Boost 135 axle. All bikes are different, they've all got different axles. Um, that's a Boost 135 on the back of, of this, running a hub, a Hope Pro 4 hub. And I'll tell you now, they're absolutely fantastic. Um, standing up to all this hammer, this, this motor's pushing through it as well. And I'm using my pole springs, which are my last demo pole springs in this hub. I haven't touched them. So, uh, yeah, happy day, safe riding, and uh, hope you enjoy the video. Bit of insight on there. The firmware upgrade was dead easy to do. Uh, then again, I, I do run IT, but it is easy to do. And I think, in my opinion, it's worth doing. And I look forward to either a GUI interface where you can change it like the TZ2. You could, there was a uh, open source and you could change all the parameters on the uh, TZ2B, not the original one. I've run the original one, it wouldn't do it. But the second generation... She said, too, you, you can modify the firmware. It makes a massive difference. 
But on this, I'm looking forward to someone coming up with some open source so you can tweak it on the fly. Do I need to tweak, tweak much on this? I think I've run a throttle only because when I'm climbing, it feels like a Charles bike. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I'm really pleased with it. And it's not cost me two and a half thousand pound a motor. It's cost me 240 quid. Take that into account. And I run the battery pack in my backpack. And I have done that since 2004. And it makes a difference. Look how clean the bike looks when I haven't got a big giant battery sitting on the thing. Uh, right. Onwards and upwards. This is what I put my uh, Z8 under. Just come back now. You know, proper mud every weekend. So far, so good. And uh, just an update, just got back. And definitely in all those modes, trip mode especially, the torque has definitely improved. I was going up the hill, you thought, you think you're in power mode or turbo mode, you're not in trip mode. So yeah, uh, well worth it. Thanks for viewing.